You know what some people call us? The nasty party. It was rebranded, became electable again. Not just any government, a majority conservative government. Then... I was the future once. So here we all are in 2016, the party trying not to be overwhelmed by Brexit and to look in control. The Cameron era was itself a break from the past, and I think most people understood what he was at least trying to achieve, a more liberal party in touch with modern life and tacking to the centre away from the party's forays elsewhere on the right. That was then. Now, we're obviously at a, a big juncture, but it's much harder to find the precise term that describes where we're going. There is a slogan here, working for everyone. Party activists have kind of cottoned on to the concept, but it is still rather vague. Is that a new idea for the Conservative Party, to work for everyone? No, not at all. We've always been the party for everyone. But how is it different from previous Tory parties? Still got the same bit of pragmatism, but a bit more social concern. I think there's also a degree of populism about it as well. It's holding the centre and holding the right at the same time. So what is the new bit of it? I mean, because I don't think Cameron was against working for everyone. I mean, or, or was he? Or... Of course not. He was a fabulous Prime Minister as well. She's trying to make uh, the Conservative Party the true party of the working man. And I believe that that is... And woman. Of course, working man and woman. Now wander out of the security zone into the country that will soon, hopefully, be working for everyone, and the public are still working out what the new PM is all about. To be honest with you, I, I found out that we had a new Prime Minister about a day ago. Theresa May is a great girl, my age. <laughs> a country that works for everyone. They're, they're saying that a lot. Do, have you heard that line? I've heard that line a lot, but that's... You can almost say it's like a recycled line. I don't think she's the first person to say that or something of that nature. It's the dream of lots of politicians that they can appeal to everybody. And if you take out the Brexit issue, there's quite a bit of that about Theresa May's pitch right now. However, it's impossible to believe that there's a coalition that really covers 100% of public opinion. At some point over this conference or over the next year, as we understand what Theresa May is about, she'll have to define what she's against as much as what she's for.